Right now, many brothers and sisters in the religious world still foolishly stare at the sky for the Lord to come on a cloud. We have a responsibility to give them the testimony on God's work of the last days so they can hear God's voice as soon as possible, be lifted up to God's throne. After you leave, you should let everyone know that they absolutely may not listen to what Eastern Lightning preaches. They cannot allow Chen Yixin or Su Ji to visit them. All those who have followed the footsteps of God to this day are those who have come before the throne of God. And this being so, every single person who accepts God's work in its final phase is the object of God's purification. There's only one way to stop Chen Yixin and Su Ji from coming back to steal our sheep. The Lord Jesus said, But when they persecute you in this city, flee you into another. For I truly say to you, you shall not have gone over the cities of Israel till the Son of Man be come. Who let you come preach here? You come preach here without our permission. You're stealing our sheep. You really have some nerve. Yeah. Brothers and sisters are God's sheep. They don't belong to any man. How can you say that they are yours? Does the Bible say so? Young Qing, how dare you say that? Get her! Ah! But woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. God's chosen people are God's sheep. Now that God has returned and is uttering the truth to save man, the pastors and elders madly resist God's work of the last days. They block believers from accepting the true way. Aren't they antichrists, enemies of Christ? Are you aware of the burden you shoulder, your commission, and your responsibility? Where is your historic sense of mission? What plans do you have for the progress of the next step of work? How many people are waiting for you to be their shepherd? Is your task a heavy one? <laughs>